Jeff and Wilma Budroom and we're going to make a video in response to a discussion on the Flow Forum with a good friend Adam, Adam Dagner. I told him I was going to do a, an experiment on the bees. I was going to hang a bit of brood upside down to see what would happen. So this is a frame that we had in our observation hive, just making a bit of natural comb. They had it built down there and what I did was I cut this whole section out there and I placed it upside down and I put it against this side here to support it so it wouldn't tip over and it, it worked because you can see along the edges where the bees have repaired it all. But at the time when I did that, there's a beetle up here, I'm going to get him or her. At the time of doing that, it was full of eggs, and you can see here now, at this stage, a lot of the, the larvae is developed, and a lot of it's capped. You can see how the cells are actually pointing downwards, whereas the ones in this top section, the cells are slightly pointing upwards. Uh, the same as these cells down the bottom are slightly upwards, whereas the ones in, in along this strip are pointing slightly downwards. So the bees don't seem to have any problem at all with me turning it upside down. I don't know whether we need to go any further. When we did it, the eggs were only freshly laid and they've completed the job. You can see those grubs are... Oh, in the cells. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you turn this upside down, you can see why the brood at the bottom is capped because that was the first eggs that the queen laid because that was uh, the first bit of um, comb that was built and the queen got on there straight away and started laying eggs on it so the reason why we didn't continue this any further was because we put some other frames in the observation hive for a wear hive for a wear hive for a customer we probably don't have to sort of look any further, do we? Because no. we've got the seal brood. Have a look at the other side. This other side, much the same. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.